Hi, I'm Kelly, and I've been a paramedic and EMS educator for nearly 25 years. Over the years, I have both taught and been taught to look for a medic alert bracelet while assessing patients, especially those with an altered mental status. It sounds simple, but there's more to it than that, as you will see here. Giving up already? Yes. That's all. Twelve oh two medic six. Medic six, go ahead. Twelve oh two on the scene, thirty year old female, active seizures, unknown medical history, approximately a quarter mile from the parking lot on a run in trail. How long has she been like this? Here since I got here, about, about five minutes ago. Has she stopped season? No, she's not. Does she have a medical alert ID? Just a paracord bracelet. Okay. Is she allergic to anything? He said he doesn't know. All right, we're gonna need some versed. I don't have a radio pulse. I don't have carotid. I'll start CPR. Wait, 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 wait. Let's stop right there. What just happened? Why on earth did Jenny code? There was a key piece of information that we overlooked which attributed to the tragic outcome. Jenny was wearing a medic alert ID that we overlooked, not because we didn't look for it, but because we didn't know what we were looking for. We were looking for this, not this. Unfortunately, even with over 75 years of combined EMS experience on scene, we weren't aware that what we were looking for could look like this. And we experienced tragic results. Jenny's medic alert ID was made from paracord material just like those you and I see every day. Having this knowledge could have made a huge difference in this scenario. Since I now know what to look for, let's rewind the scenario and give Jenny another chance. Does she have a medical alert ID? Just a paracord bracelet. Double check that. Some medical alerts look like that. Yeah, there's a number on. I'll go ahead and call. Medical alert, emergency and safe return center. This is Patricia. Ah, uh, yes, this is Benjamin Lunsford with Creekside Fire Rescue. We have uh, about a 30-year-old female here actively seizing on a trail, and she has a medical alert bracelet. All right, may I have the identification number at the bottom of the tag, please? Okay, USW2RVVHH94. Okay, the patient's name is Jennifer Smith. She has a history of seizures, and she is also severely allergic to Versed. Okay, hold on a moment. Hey guys, she's allergic to Versed. We need a line. The scenario we just watched was written specifically for this video. However, the combined years of experience is real, and so was our combined ignorance. We were all expecting to find a traditional medic alert bracelet that looked like this, or a necklace that looked like this. But medic alert has grown way past that. They offer IDs that come in a variety of styles and designs like these. Medic alert patients may also have a wallet card or keychain with valuable information available to you. They have a 24-7 emergency call center that you can call to get a ton of information, way more than just allergic to Versed. You can also get a detailed history, contact their relatives or caregivers, or even have medical documents such as CT scans, MRIs, 
x-rays, and EKGs faxed to you or to the hospital ahead of you. Before now, I was unaware of the variety of styles or the complexity of the information that was available. Going forward, you and I must tell others so we may positively impact the outcomes for Jenny and others wearing Medic Alert IDs.